She's a pop star, an outspoken pro-democracy advocate in Hong Kong, and a Canadian citizen. But Denise Ho is now under arrest in Hong Kong. We need the Canadian government to intervene. There is a Canadian and she is in custody right now. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie calls the arrest deeply concerning, writing our consular officials are engaged and stand ready to provide assistance on the ground. We are monitoring the situation very closely. We are not talking to reporter. We are not talking to the, 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 the media. Hong Kong police say seven people were arrested, all connected to the online pro-democracy media outlet Stand News. Ho used to sit on the company's board. Her political awakening began as she gained fame. She came out as gay in 2012, rare for a celebrity in Hong Kong. Then she became an outspoken participant in the 2014 Hong Kong pro-democracy movement. She was arrested and China banned her from performing on the mainland. Undeterred, she continued her activism at the 2019 protests in Hong Kong, where she credited growing up in Montreal as a source of inspiration. For me, Canada is you know, another home. So uh, I think what I have learned there, I am applying it right now here in Hong Kong. Ho's latest arrest for sedition was made under a colonial-era law. But the search of her home and Stan News office came under a new national security law imposed by Beijing last year following the protests. So I'm really uh, worried about her. Sunny Chung protested alongside Ho. He's been living in the United States since fleeing Hong Kong last year. Her arrest really uh, demonstrated that Hong Kong's autonomy press freedom, freedom of speech, this kind of uh, very important values are no longer being cherished. Values Ho has always fought for. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.